Hello, I hope you're all doing really, really fantastically. I've actually already filmed this voiceover, but then my voice turned out super robotic, and it was it was weird. It was a weird situation. I I don't know what happened. I think there's something wrong with my um make make makeup my my voice recorder on my computer. So, anyways, this is gonna be a November bullet journal plan with me video, and I've actually finally gotten my overhead camera, and I'm loving it so much. It makes things so incredibly much more simpler i that's not great english um <laughs> so before we get too deep into the video i just want to warn you guys that uh the video is going to get so much darker throughout it i did this way too late and this was the first sunday of the switch between summertime and winter time and i was not prepared of how like early um the sun went down and there's been a lot of debate lately about um taking away the summer and winter time but honestly i really like it it just sucks like to wake up and then it's super dark outside and yeah, I like it. Tell me tell me what you guys think about all that. So I've gotten so many cool materials lately. I got some new washi tapes, I got some new glitter gel pens, and yeah, I'm just really loving like this new material and everything. Sorry, it's blurry for a second right here. It's gonna go away. Yes, so in this monthly setup, I'm actually doing a big box grid monthly overview i've been doing tinier ones smaller ones um in the previous months and it has been working out but i do realize i little need a little bit more space and i don't like the thing where i write the important dates on the outside of the actual setup it kind of seems like uh, a little bit too complicated for me um, but i've never been really great at uh, decorating the monthly setup situation because there's so many like so little space around and it just feels like I don't know, I'm accommodating like the creative parts um, around the the functional parts, but in my other spreads, uh, spreads, I like change the functional parts according to the creative parts, if that makes sense. So I just been never really great at this part right here. Um, also, I went into this secondhand bookstore. It is the the second hand um, hmm, hmm, uh, <laughs> Jesus will want words. So like my last video where I went to all these bookshops, I found a lot of postcards and so many like old Victorian homes and interior design for all these like posh homes. And you'll see in a second, it's just, I love doing collages with those. I think it looks really cool. And I also got some really cool postcards of old dolls. I don't, I don't know <laughs> why I'm so, so obsessed with them right now, but just the combination of like the old rooms with old dolls and then just throw in some um, cool washi tape with flowers on it, and you got, like, a cool creative spread, you just need, like, a gel pen, and, you know, uh, all that, so I'm a really, really strong believer in the fact that you don't need great materials to make great, um, art, like, you can literally make great art out of anything, but sometimes it feels so nice when you get new materials, and it's easy to work with, and it just allows you to do great things, even though I'm not that great at doing so <laughs> that's nice. Um, I think a lot of my like creativity is just like faking it. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense or if anyone can relate, but uh, sometimes I see all these like creative, creative and crazy and amazing spreads, uh, both collage and bullet journal stuff on Instagram. And I, I, I'm like, yeah, I, I think I can fake my way to, to get there. But this spread that I'm creating now is a habit tracker. And I've been really been loving the setup. I've been using it for a really long time where I just make small individual box grids um, for each habit because I don't have that many habits I need to track. And I just like doing it this way. Um, yeah, and also this gel pen that's like, it's gold. And it's really pretty color gold, but you totally can't see how shiny it is. Um, but I get to enjoy that. It's super nice. I really like the spread. I think it's my favorite spread of the month uh, aesthetically. And hopefully it's going to please me um, physically. Physically? That sounded oddly sexual. Um, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. I've already filmed this voicemail. <laughs> voicemail. Can you tell? Oh, Jesus. Um, so I'm tracking less habits this month. And also something that helps is just adding loads of like stars everywhere and that kind of thing. Um, the next spread that I'm making is my win spread where I create or write down all the things that went great that month, uh, celebrate the accomplishments. I think in our bullet journal, we always write down all these things that 
we need to do, we need to improve. It's like constantly looking forward at uh, everything that needs to be done and all that stuff. But I think a win spread, which I use for um, kind of going back and looking at everything great that happened to me in that month, I continually update it throughout the month every time something happens that I feel like I need to write down. And it's just such a great way, great way, <laughs> great way <laughs> to use your bullet journal um, in both the past and the present to remember some of the great things. Um, and not punish yourself too much for everything you can't didn't have time to get done. So that's this spread right here. And I used a map to on the background. I think that's such a cool collage idea. And I want you guys in this video to comment below your favorite bullet journal material. Like if you had to choose one to decorate your bullet journal or your journal, is it like washi tape or stickers or collage stuff? I mean, collage is kind of broad, so I guess you'd choose that. But um, or pens or color pens or just doodles or how you like to set up your journal. I'm really curious to know and what combination of those things you use. So this last spread that I'm making is just a weekly spread. And I've been doing this thing where I make it really simple and I just do one box for events and one box for tasks so that I, I don't need to do like one little box for every day or stuff like that because I, I go to school and I basically just do school stuff so I don't really have that much outside that I t need to take care of and sometimes like on one day I just write like do laundry and it's kind of sad so <laughs> I think this is a better way and then I have a little bit more outlet to be creative which is I don't know it's nice now I think I am able to let I'll let go a lot when it comes to my creativity my bullet journal I feel like I'm at a really good place oh yeah and I also tried these boxes which is a new thing where I did some of them in my previous spreads where I basically just did a box and I don't have any plans to actually fill it with anything. <laughs> but I'm just hoping that um, it's like, it's kind of cool. I don't know. I like it. I like how it looks. So that's the end of this setup November plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm looking forward to next month. Um, talk to me in the comments about all your creative endeavors and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a brilliant day. Spread the love. If you're not, that's okay. I hope this made you a little bit happier. Um, uh, that is it. Bye guys. Love you.